LinkedIn document posts. What are they and should you use them in your content strategy? If you want to find out, stay tuned because I'm about to dive right into that. I'm Wendy and I'm all about helping coaches and consultants sign up high ticket clients on LinkedIn without sending any spammy or salesy DMs. And yep, that is possible. So if you are wondering how to grow your business on LinkedIn, be sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that bell to be notified every time I release a new video. Now, personally, I'm a massive fan of these posts because they tend to get more engagement than just photos. The reason for this is that document style posts play to people's curiosity, okay? And they just want to see what's on the next slide, what's on the next slide, what's on the next slide. So even if your copy is not that great, people are likely to stick around to just click to see what's next, what's next, what's next. And that's great news for you because the longer people spend on your post, the further it's going to be pushed by the algorithm. Because again, it is an indication to LinkedIn if people are actually stopping and looking at what you have to say that it must be a good piece of content. So that's the reason I absolutely love document style posts. However, there is a caveat. There is the right way of doing document style posts and the wrong way of doing them. So let me start by showing you a couple of mistakes that you definitely want to avoid. Mistake number one, the text in your document post is too small to read. Here are a couple of examples I have found on LinkedIn of people trying to use document posts, but actually they're really not succeeding or getting any engagement on them because if you look at them, you can't actually understand what they're all about. Please do not expect someone to actually enlarge your document and download it and then maybe zoom into it later on in their device. They just won't do it. If it's too much work, no one's going to stick around. So if you're planning to add text to your document posts, make sure that the font size is massive because it needs to be readable on mobile devices as well. Now, the second common mistake with document posts is that they are the wrong dimensions and you're seeing these gray bars on the left and the right side of the document, which honestly do not look too great, okay? So to avoid this, you wanna make sure that your vertical document style posts are 1080 times 1350. I always use these dimensions because they will ensure that you do not have any gray space there left and your document post is looking really neat on desktop and on mobile. Now, the third mistake I see with document posts on LinkedIn all the time is that people are putting graphics in there. Okay, so they're using Canva or they're using Photoshop to put together some graphics and then they're basically making them scrollable. And whilst this works exceptionally well on Instagram from what I have seen, on LinkedIn, it's not gonna convert as well because remember, people are actually buying into you as a person first, okay? And just having a graphic, scrolling graphics is not really establishing any connection with your audience, okay? Your ideal clients want to know who you are and what is your energy like. So at the very minimum, you should have your picture on the very first slide and on the very last slide, okay? Otherwise, it's just going to look too general and it is likely not gonna perform as well as it could. Now that you understand the three biggest mistakes people are making with their document posts, let me show you what I actually encourage you doing. Personally, I like to use carousel posts as a gallery that enhances the copy that I have written. So for example, in this post, I was telling the world about how I used to live in a two bedroom apartment with 17 people. And then I used the carousel slider to show everyone how that apartment actually looked and how I looked in my early 20s when I was doing the internship in New York and hence I was sharing a room with so many people. So if you have multiple pictures from some sort of an event or a life experience, I would highly encourage that you actually create a carousel post from those pictures. And again, it's just going to make your copy that much more enticing. By now you might be thinking, okay, Vindy, all of this is great, but how do I actually create a document post and upload it on LinkedIn? So let me quickly hop on my computer and show you exactly how this works. All right, superstar. So let me show you exactly how I design a carousel post for LinkedIn. So first things first, I'm going to open up Canva because this is where I design everything for LinkedIn, okay? So what I'm gonna do now is click create design 
and let's say custom size, okay? Because I'm gonna create a vertical format document post, okay? So click custom size, and as we just discussed, this is going to be 1080 times 1350, okay? And you're gonna click create new design, okay? Beautiful, so here are the dimensions that you can see. Now on the left hand side, you can go to uploads and actually drag your pictures in here, all right? So let's just say, this actually is a post I did recently, so I have some pictures with my mom, okay? So let's just say I'm going to, first of all, you can drag and drop your pictures in here. Once you're there, you're gonna click on them and drag it into this white space, okay? So the size of this picture is this big. However, I'm going to make it bigger to fit the dimensions that I want for my carousel. I can double click, I can drag it down, and let's just say this is going to be the first picture, okay? Then I'm gonna click add page, that's gonna be my next page, okay, I'm designing. And let's just say the next page is going to be this photo, again, with me and my mom. So I'm going to, again, drag it to fit the space. And now I have already one, two photos, and let's just do one more. I'm gonna click add page, and let's just say I'm gonna click this photo, okay? So again, I'm gonna make sure it fits the space, okay, perfect. So now I have three pictures. So to create a document style post, all you actually have to do is export this as a PDF. That's what a document style post is. So you're gonna click share, you're gonna click download, you're going to make sure that all pictures are selected, okay, all pages, and then file type is going to be PDF standard. And now click download, okay? And that's going to save on my device. So as soon as this happens, we're gonna go over to LinkedIn and I'm going to show you exactly how you're gonna upload that. Okay, my darling, so I am now on LinkedIn and I wanna show you how I would upload a document style post, okay? So let me move myself to the side and what we wanna do is click start a post over here. So I'm gonna click start a post and if you hover over these different options, you're gonna see that the third option is add a document, okay? That's what you're gonna do. You're gonna click here now you're gonna select choose file and I'm going to select the very document I have just created, okay? Pictures of my, well, me and my mom. So now it is getting uploaded and the one thing you're gonna to have to do is add a title for your document and I can just say, my mom is awesome, okay? But obviously it can be whatever you want it to be. So you're gonna have a document title, you're gonna click done and now you can see we have the title and here is the very sliding deck we have created, okay? So this is how you create a document style post and how it's going to look when you upload it. And now, obviously over here, we want to have a very good and enticing copy to give someone a reason to actually read the post and dive deeper with you. Okay, my darling, so that is how you create document style posts, also known as carousel posts on LinkedIn. Now, if you were not born with social media in your lap and content creation feels a bit awkward and you're not quite sure what to say and what to share with your audience, be sure you message me on LinkedIn and ask me about the LinkedIn Bootcamp because I would absolutely love to help you grow your business on LinkedIn. If you are curious how lead attraction works on LinkedIn and what do you have to do to get in front of your ideal audience and actually have them reach out to you, be sure you also grab my quick start guide to LinkedIn. I have linked below this video, which shows you my exact strategy for attracting clients on LinkedIn. As always, I would really appreciate if you could give this video a massive like and subscribe to my channel as it truly helps me grow on YouTube. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'm gonna catch you at the next episode.